Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today what I'm going to be working on is I'm working on an addition to my Ape Army. Um, it's a gorilla head that's produced by Reliving the Past again, and they call it their General Urko. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn him into my uh, gorilla commander. So in order to do this, I'm going to start with a dry brush. Now I'm going to I'm going to do the eyes probably next to last, just because. I want to get this dry brush throughout the model and I don't want to mess up any eyes that I uh, establish. So I'm going to start with the dry brush. On this one I'm doing a real dry brush. I'm going to eliminate like 95% of the paint just to leave a little bit and I'm going to gently apply it to the face of the sculpt. Let's see if you can pick that up. You know, it's very, very subtle. You're not putting on a lot of paint. You're just, like I said, dry brushing the paint on there. And I'm also going to use a, um, a wash, a black wash, to kind of bring it down even further. But you can see I'm getting most parts of the face. Just establishing these these like uh, highlights and that's the effect that you're going for and then I'm going to bring it down with my uh, my black wash so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm using a Nolan's oil. Let me see if I have a good paintbrush for that. Oh yeah, this one will work. And you can see how that's bringing down the color even more and actually providing you a little more detail because it's going into the uh, to the actual recesses, the uh, the skin, the snout. You can see it's bringing it down even more. See how it's it's running into those details here on the brow and the lips. So it's providing a very very subtle highlighting effect to the model. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to try to I'm going to go for the eyes next. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but the base that I'm using is a Canyon Black Satin. I ran out of my other uh, uh, black paint, and so I found this was a pretty good substitute. And it's a really deep black, too, if, if that makes any sense. So to paint the eyes, I'm just using my smallest tipped brush. And I'm just going to try to stay within the lids. This guy has very narrow lids. So there's not a lot of eye to work with. like squinting. I guess he's out in the forbidden zone, right? Let's see. Looks like I got a little bit of over travel on that one, but that's okay. I can bring it down with my, um, my Nolan's oil at the end. So looking pretty good. So there I got his eyes. Now I debated whether or not to, um, to use a brown paint for his hair. I was going to use Abaddon Black. But I have a really dark dryad bark, and I don't know. I'm at the point where, you know what, maybe the black, maybe the black with a uh, Agrax Earth shade. Let, let's see what that does. I'm going to go ahead and start on the hair while the eyes are drying. It's a lot of black, though. Hmm. Hmm. 
gonna go ahead and test it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little brown on there and see what it looks like. I can always scrub it because I'm I'm thinking that the brown might provide a little bit of contrast. And as I said, I can I can always bring it down with the Nolan's oil. So I've painted a little bit of brown on his head. And uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to uh, let it dry a bit. And I'm going to put the Nolan's oil in there and see what kind of effect that has. Okay? So bear with me. This patch is dried. So I'm switching over to a Nolan's oil gloss just to see what that does. Once it's dry. I don't know, that looks pretty good. I think it provides a good contrast too. I'm gonna let it dry and take a look. I'll be right back. Well, I got an expert opinion. Uh, I asked my son, <laughs> he thinks the brown looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna paint it brown, and then I'm gonna use that uh, that gloss. It's a, it's a Nolan's Oil gloss and see how that works. Because I like the glossy appearance or the, the satiny look of the hair. I think it looks great. So I think I'm going to try to keep that and just add to it. Oh, I forgot to paint the ears. See how the ears are recessed? I went ahead and I dry brushed those. But painting the, the hair is pretty easy. As always, I just kind of like start at the scalp and I move back. Pretty easy. I'll paint the eyes probably next after I paint the hair. Yeah, I can already see that Nolan's oil really does a good job of kind of like uh, subduing the color, the brown color, and then also providing the details that you need. You know what, I think I need to switch over to a, uh, a finer brush tip. Let me get the big stuff on here, and then I'll switch over. I really like these resin sculpts. Um, they're pretty easy to paint. Uh, I was encouraged the other day, um, uh, I guess a viewer of the channel told me that he started uh, working on customizing these heads because of the videos he watched. So. You know, I hope that uh, there's more of you guys out there who use these videos to kind of help you out and, you know, help you avoid the mistakes that, you know, some of the mistakes that I make. So you can get your, um, your stuff done right the first time. Yeah, that Canyon Black looks pretty good. I do need to find something that uh, can replace my brown boots because um, that was a very unique color having difficulty. If anybody finds a paint that really matches the um, the brown bodies of the, uh, of the Migo apes, please let me know. I'd be interested to find a replacement for my brown boots because it's been discontinued. That's actually looking pretty good the way it is. Like I said, I'm going to add the, um, the black. Let me switch over to a finer brush for the, for the other details. Here's one right here. You can see how that point is actually working really well. Making sure you establish that um, that line between the face and the, and the hair. Hmm, that's a lot of brown. Well, we'll take a look at it once it um, once I add that Nolan's oil.
The reason why I was hesitant to um, paint this brown is because I painted one of these for a friend of mine and um, I did the black hair and it looks super cool, especially with the gray contrast. I just, I wanted to do something different. So hopefully this works out. If not, you can always buy another head, right? It's not a big deal, it's not the end of the world. But we'll see. I think I have some pictures that I took of his, so we'll do a side-by-side -side maybe. Yeah, for his I used, um, where is it? Is this the Abaddon Black? I used the Abaddon Black for the hair and uh, it looked really good. So I guess there's some options there. I have this guy on one of those uh, classic TV toys bodies. Yeah, these Citadel paints cover very, very well. So if you're looking at starting this, I would suggest probably um, just a few base colors. I would definitely get a white. I would probably go with the Abaddon Black, um, the Dryad Bark, you know, the Cadian uh, Flesh Tones, uh, the Reichland Flesh Tone Wash, the um, Nullins Oil Wash, probably start off with the basic one, not the gloss and Agrax Earthshade. Those are basically the colors that I use. I mean, I don't use very many more than those. That's a lot of brown. Hoping this works out. We'll see once I add that wash. Looks like his head is pretty much covered. Let me go ahead and let that drop. You know what? Maybe I should tackle his eyes while I'm here. Let me get that fine point brush again. Gotta clean this before I leave it. Just the tip. Just a teeny little amount. And then again, I start in the center and I move up. There's my first eye. Again, same placement for the second one. Start in the middle and work up. There's my second one. So I'll let that dry and then I'll do the little white dots in his eyes and we'll see how he looks from there. I'll be right back. The moment of truth. Let's go ahead and get some of this Nolan's oil, the gloss, and start working on the rest of the head. Try not to get the gloss on the skin just because um, it's going to give you a, uh, a slick appearance, right? I'll go over with the uh, regular Nolan's oil and um, define the, the, the uh, space between the scalp or the, the flesh and the hair. But I'm just using this to give it a different texture and to bring down the color a bit. We'll see if it does that. If not, I'll go back to black. I don't know, it's looking pretty good.
Yeah, these paints give you really clean lines too. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I, I painted the, uh, the white spots in the eyes. You know, it's hard for me to do those on camera. But what you do is you pick a spot and the, just the very, very tip of your paint, uh, the tip of your brush with the white paint and um, good luck. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's really, really hard, especially for me. Okay, look how that Nolan's oil is just establishing the, um, the scalp line. And it's giving you uh, detail into the recesses of the hair. It's really providing a really good effect. And you know what, this effect was lost when I did it in, in black. Just did the hair in completely black. I kind of lost that. I did get the effect of the, um, the gloss though, but I lost the effect of the uh, of the individualized hairs that this one's providing. It's actually looking pretty good. I guess I'm glad I went with a brown. Let me make sure I get underneath it. I don't have any funny pools. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. You know what, maybe I can do it. I'm gonna switch over to the other Nolan's Oil. This is the non-gloss. This is just the shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the face. And the little ears that I did too. Now I'm gonna use this to divide the space between the scalp and the flesh. Actually, that two-tone effect looks pretty good. eyes. Let me do above as well. Well, actually I think I think he's done. I'm gonna go ahead and um, let him dry and then I'm gonna protect him with my matte clear enamel and uh, we'll take a look at him once I get him dressed, pick, pick out an outfit for him. So I'll be back in a bit. Here's my finished Gorilla Commander. I think he came out great. You know, I'm, I'm so glad I did with the uh, the brown hair instead of the black. You know, it was a nice, it's a nice alternative. You know, there's nothing wrong with the black hair. The black hair looks great too. But, you know, this brown hair kind of ties in the brown of his tunic, the brown of his bandolier. So I think it works out really well. And it's very, very subtle. I mean, you know, you have, you don't really notice it right off the bat. It's not a, a very strong brown. It, it looks almost black, you know, but you can see the, uh, the different tones with the, uh, the hair being the gloss and the face being more of a satiny. You know, um, I always do this as my last step, this matte clear enamel. I spray the entire head with it. Not only does it kind of like, you know, protect the paint job, but it also provides a more consistent finish. You'll see that here in, in the piece as it's done. You know, overall, very, very pleased with them. You know, the other accessories that I have with them, uh, I've got the tunic that I got from Dr. Migo. Dr. Migo has some really cool ape accessories. He has this uh, color, the brown, and he also has the purple. I, I didn't go with the pants though. What I've done is I married this tunic with some pants that I got from Classic 
TV toys. These are the general pants in their, in their ape section. And you can see they have a little bit of a piping on the side and they're a little puffier and then they're drawn at the, at the uh, calves. So they really fit the boot well. Um, the boots are also from Classic TV Toys. Those are the general boots. You know, um, the gorget I got from Dr. Migo, the bandolier with the knife. Let me see if I can get a good picture of that. The bandolier with the knife I got from Classic TV Toys as well. Uh, that's Jay Spy's uh, rifle. You know, he, he puts together these like little handholds on there so that you can hold them in a variety of ways. So um, that's a really cool piece there too. But overall, he looks fantastic, doesn't he? He looks great. You know, I, this guy's not a hard guy to do. Uh, the dry brushing is pretty much the hardest part that you'll have to that you'll encounter in this and as I said before if you just take your gray paint um, you know on your brush you know maybe dip it in about halfway and then wipe off I would say you know don't don't try to gauge 90 95 try to get off all of the paint if you can and then use it once it's all that paint is gone then to dry brush and you'll see that you're just picking up a little bit of the paint I think I might have gone a little too heavy on mine but still you know that black wash kind of brought it down uh, the uh, the black wash on the hair that Nolan's Oil Gloss really looks good. Overall, I'm very, very pleased with this guy, and I hope you guys try him. You know, this this customizing, uh, it's not too difficult to do. Yeah, it requires a little skill and practice, but you know, from day one, when I first started these, I can see that I've improved, you know, and that's how it'll be with you too. You know, I would start with the easier ones. The apes seem to be pretty easy. So start there before you start the astronauts or do any of those. But until next time, I hope you guys uh, try some customizing. Hope you guys get that, uh, that, that Gorilla Commander for your collection. And I hope you guys have fun with your Migos. Well, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.